Hello and welcome back everybody, we've got another review for you. So, Jurassic World Dominion is only one week away, so I thought, you know what, let's revisit some of the old sets from Jurassic Park. So this is set 75932 called Jurassic Park Velociraptor Chase. This came out in 2018 and retailed at £45. So the set itself is long extinct now. Um, obviously it's been out of production for a few years. Um, it's got a number of cool features with it. I mean, this was the first time that any Jurassic Park figures actually featured in a set. We'd had Jurassic World for the three years previous. Um, and this was the very first one actually of the first film. I was very excited um, when this was announced. Uh, just a mini scale of one of the scenes from the movie. Obviously the famous kitchen scene is included as well. Um, when this came out, this is when I first started dreaming of the, uh, the dress part gate or the car scene. Well, fortunately that's what we've got this year. So I'm very excited that we actually got those functions. So let's have a look at a couple of little key features here. So at the front, we've got the little control room where Lex is trying to hack the computer. We've got Dennis Nedry on the computer. Uh, 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 you didn't say the magic word. I love those little things. Unfortunately, it's just stickers. Um, prints would have been lovely. However, the computer is a print there as you can see so we have Lex little short legs obviously Ellie Sadler nice torso printing there and Alan Grant in the background um, the figures that came in the later set the T-Rex Rampage very similar figures um, so they didn't stay exclusive for very long and there in the kitchen is Tim uh, little features in this area uh, we've got the little red handle here if you pull that out that removes the lock so you can actually open that door uh, to recreate the dinosaur attack <laughs> with a velociraptor which is what we like let's lock that back up here uh, it also comes with a ladder um, it's a little bit bulky if I'm being honest but uh, with the scale and with it being Lego there's not a lot else they could really do with that um, Again, stickers on the wall, nice poster, shame it isn't a print though. Uh, telephone that uh, he called, contacts uh, John Hammond with, and a couple of tools. And then if we bring it around the side, there is the cryogen, uh, the embryo storage for the uh, for the dinosaurs with Dennis Nedry. Um, unfortunately, he didn't came, come in this set. Um, also comes with the camera that was focusing on the embryos during the movie. Now, if we face the back of that, there is a nice little platform which you could place the Velociraptor. So that's been thought about as well, we quite like. Um, not a lot happening around here, although, um, you see, I don't like this color coming through here, but um, again, with it being just one stud wide, there isn't a lot they could do with that. Uh, hidden little chocolate. Um, a bit bizarre. Um, also comes with a sausage as well. It's just fallen out of the frying pan. Um, obviously not movie accurate, but uh, it's more inclined with the uh, the Lego series cartoons that they did and the video game. Um, so there's a small part of the kitchen there, a uh, little cupboard that you could fit Tim inside. Um, obviously it's Lex that hides in the film, um, but she's a little bit too big for that. Um, and then at the back you see the, the green. Uh, I believe that's to represent the jelly that was in the kitchen scene. So the set itself comes with one Velociraptor, uh, just your standard Raptor that you're seeing in uh, the Jurassic World sets. Um, standard, you know, just like that. Move the head a little bit. Um, it's a shame there isn't more Raptors really. Um, there was two predominantly in the kitchen scene, so that would have been nice. Um, but I guess would have driven up the price even more. Uh, mentioning price, uh, forty-five pounds for this, three hundred and sixty pieces. That's not a great part to to piece uh, part, price to part ratio. Gosh, get that out. Um, I mean, I was disappointed to pay so much when it came out. As much as I love this set, um, I just would have liked it to have been a bit cheaper. Um, it never really found sale um, at any point. So it pretty much stayed at its price. Um, although it has gone up in value since it's uh, since it's uh, non-sale anymore. 
just a couple more little easter eggs here so you've got the pots and pans that uh, were knocked off by the raptor and then the cutlery that was knocked over when the kids were trying to scurry it along on their knees and then just around here obviously you've got the uh, the embryos there but also the little can that dennis nedry uses in the movie so how do i feel about the set now a few years on i still love it i think it's amazing um i wish the price had been cheaper when i bought it um however everything's gone up in price now so you know would it be this price now nope probably looking more 60 pound um it's great i love it um it's a little compact scene it fits nicely on the shelf um has key little scenes um the figures you'd want um i mean i probably would like dennis nedry but at this time in the movie he was obviously deceased so probably no good maybe a second raptor would have been really cool um but i really like it a couple of cool little easter eggs in there um i really love it Peace out. Just a little added bonus bonus video here. So this was bought for me off of Wish. Uh, it contains unofficial Lego pieces. However, I thought it was so good that it needs to be brought to your attention of anyone that actually likes Jurassic Park. Um, this is in the same scale as those Lego City range. Um, it came with the instructions via PDF and then came with all the parts you see here minus the mini T-Rex there. Um, it was really easy to build actually. Uh, comes with the entrance helicopter coming down the waterfall. The visitor centre with the little jeep. The park entrance gates with one of the uh, Ford Explorers. Then we have the Raptor Encounter, and then we have the T-Rex Breakout. I believe this is about 25 pounds if you can source it, and uh, I highly recommend it. Um, he looks beautiful, it's a really nice little piece, and it takes up no space whatsoever. Um, I wouldn't normally recommend uh, non-Lego branded stuff. However, in this case, it's so cheap and so brilliant, and I don't think Lego are ever gonna make this. Um, yeah, it's, it's worth a pop.